hi guys you are going to hate me <laughs> because basically this is the second video well the first for you but the second video that i've had to record now because i'm editing it and basically what's happened is i had footage of three days later and i lost it and my child's gonna turn the light off <laughs> you're not funny <laughs> Oh. Um, so I have footage for three days after because that was the whole point and I'd lost it. I have no idea what's happened to the footage and it's probably my fault because I went away and well, I am away and basically deleted loads of stuff off my phone. So obviously I, have, I love how I was like, I have to delete stuff from memory and my phone runs out of memory. Anyway, so I can't show you that. However, the footage that you are going to see next is footage of my skin four days later. And I'm telling you, I loved it. So I'm going to tell you now so you don't have to wait until the end of the video to watch how I feel. I blooming love Damarilling and I love putting the products on and Damarilling. I'm telling you now, it made such a huge difference to my skin afterwards. I mean, oh it was so beautiful like you'll see footage of my skin the next day and it, my skin is lovely and plump and whatever but because it was red you don't see like the full effect but obviously the video you'll see next <sighs> my skin is so nice so what i've decided to do i'm going to make this into a little series or little parts i think it's going to be a part one part two and then so on and so forth because i uh, i just want to see like the full effects and i want to give it like a good try so i'm going to do this once a month once every month and a half i'm going to research it properly and what they advise for my length of needle and see how often i can do it and that etc etc so i'm excited about that but i do hope you enjoy the video and i hope you are excited as i am for a new mini series because i just i love the idea that you guys can sort your skin out and like I did my, like, it's the reason why I did my Trek series, because I just love the idea that you can do it without having to, you know, it's basically a Botox and filler alternative. I just love that idea. As obviously, as you can see, I'm still breastfeeding. So filler and Botox are completely off the cards for me for the foreseeable future. So yeah, I like it. I like these ideas. So anyway, go. Enjoy. Hi guys, I know you are here to watch the video and that is coming. However, I just wanted to pop on here very quickly and say, basically I am editing it right now. Obviously I've seen the footage for the first time and I've realized that my skin is seriously compromised. And I think it looks so much worse on camera than the reality of it. Cause like, this is it. This is only three days after, four days after. It's not, it's not that bad. I just don't want to give the impression that you should ever demo on compromised skin because, oh my God, no, you should not. However, I, I like to hope I go on to say and don't actually touch that area because I know what's going on there and it, yeah, you can't demo roll over that. But I also just want to say that it looks so much worse than it actually is, as you can see right now, because the lighting, this is something I've been dealing with for a while. I'm currently on medication for it. And personally, I think it's okay to dumb roll the rest of my face and obviously avoid that area like the plague. And I'm avoiding that area with everything like the plague at the moment, except my medication cream. I just didn't feel like it was okay to put that video out without saying anything previously, because I don't think I mention it in the video, because to me, what all I'm seeing is I'm seeing this tiny little viewfinder. I can't see really what I look like. And when I look in the mirror, it doesn't it doesn't look as bad as it does on camera if that makes sense i just wanted to make sure that we are clear on all levels about that if you are going to demoral at any point there are very strict rules that you need to follow and they're very simple do not ever demoral over breakouts obviously all you're going to do is puncture into that bacteria and spread it around the rest of your face if you've got any kind of barrier damage i.e well, i had to stop dressing them for this video because it that's what it does it compromises your skin barrier do not demoral it's very simple just do not do it you just need to get over it you need to heal your skin and then you can go forward this is dermatitis please do not ever 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 general over skin conditions dermatitis paralysis anything like that just you know your skin don't be stupid basically that's what i'm trying to say also i do appreciate that you can avoid areas if you feel like you can do that then fine that's your choice okay so that's all i wanted to say now go go and enjoy the video hi guys and welcome to my channel so before you get scared off because i know this is a lot I promise you it looks better in the morning. 
No, in all seriousness, if you're new here, hello, my name is India. I run British Beauty by India here on YouTube. If you like what you see here today, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel. But more importantly, if you actually do like what you see here today, please subscribe. But also give it a thumbs up because by giving it a thumbs up, you let me know what you're liking. Therefore, I can make more of it. Okay, so on to the video. I am so excited about today's video. It's been a long time coming, I've not done rolled in ages because I use what's called tretinoin. If you're interested, I'm gonna link it up here. So the choice is yours, you can go and listen. Also, I'm not gonna go into the specifics of demo rolling because I've actually already done a video like all about demo rolling. So I'm also gonna link that up there. So you can go and have a look if you're absolutely fresh to it. But today's video is specifically all about an ingredient. Mm -hmm. But before I get on and start talking at you about freaking ingredients and whatever, I'm actually going to put my numbing cream on because this takes a while to set in. This is just basic Emla cream, 5%. You can just get it from your chemist, pharmacy, whatever. Anyway, let me get this on and then I can just attach it to you. I'm going to put so much here because, oh my god, do I have the boniest, biggest head ever. Also, what happens randomly, I don't know, this might be a thing, but this kind of like drains the blood out of my face. Does that really sound weird? But anyway, well you'll see, my skin goes like a funny colour. It's not a weird reaction, but I also can't find out what it actually is. So, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Wanna know why I look like a dead person after I use numbing cream all over my face? Oh, my face is tingly! I fucking hate the tingliness. Oh. oh okay right that's done it's very momentary the tingliness i don't completely numb my face out because like i don't need to i'm not that much of a worse hello natural childbirth yeah no it still hurts like hell okay moving on to the actual video excuse me but i won't be sitting here for that long it is the product that i have been after for a long time because when i first read about it i was like wait hold up i don't believe in this Botox in a bottle stuff. If you know me, you're one of my subscribers, you know I bang on about this a lot. Like, learn your ingredients, okay? You won't get taken the piss out of and marketing bullshit. Okay, moving on. But this ingredient quite literally is Botox in a bottle, apparently. So, this is called <coughs> The Ordinary. It's a peptide. Argoline. 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 I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce that, but it's Argoline Solution 10 percent it literally says targets the appearance of dynamic facial lines it's got a ph of 6.0 to 6.7 that's fine it's not going to burn our face off alcohol free oil free silica free nut free vegan gluten free and cruelty free that always helps so argoline is a trademark owned by barcelona based lipotech sau it is a propriety solution of god what the fuck acyl as acetyl hexapeptide 8 so control studies have shown that argoline, we're just going to call it that, I don't know, improves the appearance of facial areas prone to developing dynamic roles, including around the eyes and in the forehead. So, no, studies have shown that the water content of formulations does not impact the utility level of topical argoline, and specifically that higher water content results in better utility. This formation is water-based and avoid oils and, and esters and silicones. Previously, we did not have a contradiction listed for the use of direct activants, vitamin C with any of our peptides. However, we now have a huge arsenal of these products and some of the formulations are more susceptible to hydrolysis with certain types of vitamin C or acids. Okay, so basically you can't use this with acid. So don't go in with like a pixie glow and then with this because it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. It's best not to use peptides in the same routine as the following products, direct acids. LAA, which is lysorbic acid by the way, ELA, don't know what the fuck that is. In addition, we would recommend avoiding the use of products containing copper peptides in the same routine as strong antioxidants as well as direct acids. Okay. Description, the Ordinary's Argoline Solution 10% is sure to become one of your greatest allies in the battle against fine lines and wrinkles, especially those around the eyes and forehead. The potent formula works to inhibit muscle movement, i.e. Botox, <laughs> diminishing fine lines and helping to prevent further formation of wrinkles applies twice daily on forehead and around eyes. So, I'm excited. Obviously, I've also got the Ordinary's Buffet. This is just a bloody brilliant serum. First off, I'm going to go in with this on my forehead. I don't have any uh, wrinkles on my 
eyes or maybe I do I don't know but they're not something I'm bothered by but I am bothered by the wrinkles on my forehead so this is going all over my forehead multiple times and then this on my forehead as well all over my face yada 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 and then I love to go in with this this is the Santa Flor Elixir de Rains perfect skin creating contrast to concentrate but it's, it's basically I don't know. I'm not going to go in that much about derma rolling. This is not the point of the video. Like I said, there's linked, blah, blah, blah. But there are some basics that I want to cover just in case you are completely new to it. Like there's some serious things that you need to understand. Number one, bloody clean your derma roller. <laughs> Literally, this is the most important thing about everything. You do not want to create micro wounds into your skin with a dirty roller. I mean, yeah, no. So I'm talking about like pure alcohol pure alcohol to clean this bitch okay cool next bit your face has to be so clean and again it goes along the similar lines you do not want to be micro needling bacteria into your face so when i say clean i mean there's no scrap of makeup on your face there's no moisturizer no serums no nothing you want a completely bare face i used to use clean serums which i think is bloody brilliant so i used to wash my face numbing cream wash this off obviously and then put clean sept over so that just kills everything that might just be somewhere it's really good it's really mild it's not going to irritate you because the thought of putting antibacterial spray into your skin and then causing wounds I know, freaks the majority of people out. But it's fine, it's chill, calm. And that's pretty much it. The size of your derm roller, I'm not gonna go into that because I go into that in the other one, but know that mine is a 0.5 millimeter, so it is bigger than your average home use one. So this doesn't exist anymore. This is Medicaid, and um, they don't sell derm rollers to my knowledge anymore. Last time I checked and did the vid last video. And then I also have my Medicaid micro needling roller sanitizing spray. Basically 100% alcohol. <laughs> like I kid you not. So, once this is all settled, I'm going to go wash my face again, but just with water, like nothing. The best thing I can always say is if you're going to dumb roll, try and avoid wearing makeup for at least 24 hours, but I would prefer to say 48 hours, but I know that is majority of the time unrealistic. But we are in lockdown, so I'm hoping that you can avoid makeup for 48 hours. And then also what I like to do is obviously keep all the serums on overnight, and then also avoid like heavy creams as well, just for the next day. It's nothing serious, it's just don't want to block maybe any open channels that are still there. So continue with your serums, and also at the end of the video, obviously I'm going to show you tomorrow, and I always say by the third day it's fully healed you won't see any of the little red scabs okay all right i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna go wash my face i wash my face just with water nothing else and then i'll see you back in a minute okay we gotta do this quick my dinner's ready everything's clean everything is sanitized my face my skin my hands everything my roller obviously i'm not going to go into that again so are you ready argyline solution let's do the forehead first so I'm going to speed this up nicely because it's not about the derma rolling, it's about the effects of this. And what I'm going to do is put this on while I derma roll, so I'm going to put it on now, derma roll, keep putting it on, 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 because it's a trick that I learned from this woman. I'm going to link her down below because she's bloody brilliant, I love her. Her channel's called Natural Chaos. I live for the channel, trust me, I live for her stuff. I'm going to put loads of product on, by the way. Ah, oh, into my eyes! This is a really, when they say water, they mean water. This consistency is like water. Okay, so we go like that and we go like that. Okay, all right, cool. Let's do this. Oh, this is AM AMSR for me, AMSR. I love the sound of skin popping. Oh, I know, it's fucking twisted. Oh, that bit, I didn't do that bit. I was not numb. That was not numb. That is not numb. Right, I'm gonna go in now with my buffet for the rest of my face. I'm tempted to go in and use all of that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how well it works on my forehead and if it is like unbelievable results then all over the face, 100%. I'm trying to avoid that area because it's still quite sore. Obviously I wouldn't do this on damaged skin, but I worry about it a little bit just because it's where my dermatitis flares up and we're having a bit of a battle at the moment. So, right, you ready? I'll do it this way.
Okay, right, I'm just going to go and put some buffet. Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to put some more of this, go over it again, and then I'll put some buffet on. I just want this to work. Can you tell that I'm using like half a bottle? I just want it to work. <laughs> that just went everywhere. Right, I'm just going to quickly. Oh, yeah, numbing cream is wearing off. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, I gave birth to my daughter without anything. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Oh, I can't. I can't take any more. Right. Oh, that's so nice and cooling. Oh, right. I'm actually going to put this all over my face again. I'm just going to leave that, let that dry for a bit. And then I'm going to go in with my hyaluronic acid. Obviously, Buffet has hyaluronic acid in it. I just would like to give a big old dose. Now, what I do do is I keep applying my hyaluronic acid because obviously, as you know, serums, oh, they can, they don't last that long, I don't think. Um, moisturising wise so I just all tonight after dinner and then just before bed I will keep applying all okay not the Ergoline solution but these two solutions the buffet and the hyaluronic acid I'm just going to keep applying those oh, I, lo I love the smell of this this smell is absolutely divine I know I know you shouldn't just buy a product because of the smell but I buy products just for the smell sometimes I'm really interested to see how this turns out. Not even just the Ergoline solution, but putting it on and rolling it in. Like, I just, oh, I'm disappointed in myself for not thinking of that myself because, well, come on. That is it. I'm going to go and scare my toddler. <laughs> so, that's it for this evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Ciao for now. So, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I have spoken this before, I don't know why my voice just is good. Yeah, so this is my skin this morning. As you can see, it's still a bit red, but it's not sore anymore. It was a bit sore last night, obviously. So the only thing I've literally done this morning, I've not even washed it, I just put on my Rodial Dragon's Blood Hyaluronic Acid Mask. I put that on because obviously all the product came off on my pillowcase last night, which is, I hate it, I can't stand it. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I would suggest obviously having a new pillowcase after you do something like that, because just the bacteria, ugh, just the thought of it is disgusting. Or put a towel down, like whatever, you know, your preference is, but just be aware that pillowcases are breeding ground the bacteria and you've just caused open wounds on your face. I'm just saying. Anyway, this is it. I'm gonna go wash my face and put some stuff on and show you my skin then. So I washed my face and it was a little bit tender. So I went in just with my Emma Hardy balm, nothing crazy, no acids, no nothing. And then literally I've just gone in with exactly the same serums you've been seeing, like you saw me use last night. So it's nice, it's calm, and I'm not going to use anything but those serums today and We'll see how it goes tomorrow, but probably just tomorrow as well. That's it, I don't have anything else to say, I think.